Welcome to the Astana Times YouTube channel. I'm Aida Haidar, and in today's broadcast, we'll explore the latest from Kazakhstan, from the evolving emergency situation amidst the floods to the newly established visa-free regime between Kazakhstan and Asia's Las Vegas, Macau. Let's dive into it. The emergency situation with floods in Kazakhstan has shown signs of containment, with the number of affected regions decreasing from 10 last week to 8 by the end of this week. According to the Kazakh Ministry of Emergency Situations, as of April 11, nearly 98,000 individuals, including over 32,000 children, had been rescued and evacuated since the onset of the floods. Aircraft played a pivotal role in this effort, rescuing nearly 3,000 people, including 865 children. Presently, 7,173 individuals are housed in temporary accommodation centers, with nearly 3,500 being children. Furthermore, over 88,500 farm animals have been relocated to safer areas, and humanitarian aid reaching just over 170 kilograms has been delivered to the affected regions. Prime Minister Oshaz Bektenov recently conducted an inspection of the Ural River via aerial surveillance, underscoring the persistent threat posed by the complex flood situation. The river's swelling waters, having already wrought significant damage in Russia, now pose a looming threat to the cities of Uralsk and Adarao. Bektenov cautioned that the current water level in Ural River stands at 7.2 meters with an anticipated daily rise and stressed the critical importance of protective measures such as erected dams to mitigate potential devastation. Viktenov also authorized forced evacuations for residents unwilling to leave flood-prone areas, emphasizing that all vacated residencies would be subject to 24-hour police surveillance. In the East Kazakhstan region, water levels have slightly decreased following heavy rainfall-induced surges. Kazakh Ministry of Emergency Situations coordinates closely with Russian counterparts to monitor the evolving situation, emphasizing preparedness and swift response measures in the face of ongoing flood challenges. In addition to the concerted efforts of the Ministry of Emergency Situations and other government agencies, President Kasim Jomar Takayev has underscored the importance of international solidarity during this challenging period. On his Instagram account, Takayev expressed gratitude for the messages of sympathy and offers of aid received from heads of friendly countries in the wake of the natural disaster affecting multiple regions of the country. Kazakhstan is sincerely grateful for the willingness of our friends to show solidarity in the difficult time of confronting floods with unprecedented destructive power, he shared. President highlighted the decisive measures the national headquarters took, led by the Prime Minister under his directive, to mitigate the consequences of the emergency situation. Despite emergency flood conditions affecting eight regions of Kazakhstan, Kastrans Oil, the national oil transporter, assures the public that its main oil pipeline system remains fully operational. According to a statement released by the company's press service on April 9, there is no immediate threat to Kastrans Oil's production facilities from the ongoing floods. The company ensures that oil transportation to domestic refineries and export destinations continues smoothly, following the Energy Ministry's approved schedule. Additionally, the transit of Russian oil to China and Uzbekistan remains stable. Notably, key infrastructure entities such as Munai Das, the Kazakh Chinese pipeline, and the main water pipeline continue to operate without interruption despite the challenging environmental conditions. Kazakh Ministry of Foreign Affairs has announced the signing of a significant mutual visa exemption agreement between Kazakhstan and the Macau Special Administrative Region. The agreement inked by Kazakh Ambassador and Macau Secretary of Administration and Justice on April 9 is supposed to deepen bilateral ties between the two regions. Expected to span 14 days, the mutual visa exemption agreement is set to take effect following the completion of necessary domestic procedures. This development marks a pivotal step towards enhancing trade trade, economic, cultural, humanitarian and tourism cooperation between Kazakhstan and Macau, as outlined by the Kazakh Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Notably, discussions held shed light on the potential of inter-regional cooperation between Kazakhstan and Macau. Additionally, both parties deliberated on opportunities for interaction within the framework of the Year of Kazakhstan Tourism in China.